Hi, today we are going to address security in our web application um, through access control and mainly installing a new login system for our web application. So let's get started with the uh, configuration. So first, first of all, uh, I'd like to address the HT access files. Uh, one of the uh, files, the one in the root folder, uh, should have an extra option to increase security. And that option is the minus indexes option. So options minus indexes. And this will prevent us from listing the files that are going to be in folders such as CSS and JS. Next, I want to show you the HT access, which is in the app folder. This HT access file should be present already. However, I'd like to show you again, you have options minus indexes to prevent listing of files in folders and deny from all to prevent running any of the files by directly sending an HTTP request. Now, let's get started with building a login feature for our website, for our web application. The first prerequisite in order to have a login system is to implement session variables. So the way to do this is to start the session. And how we are going to do that, we are going to start the session in the init.php file so that every time the program runs the session is active we do this using the session start directive without session start session variables are not accessible next we're going to build a controller which is going to control the login feature new file I'm going to save this file as login controller.php. Okay. So we start all of our PHP class files with the opening PHP delimiter and close it with the closing PHP. Class login controller extends controller now for the index let's make the actions public function index this is going to be where we are going to display the login form and process user input public function register hello so public function register this is where we are going to display the register form and process new registration. And finally, public function logout. We are going to process logout requests. Okay, so by far the easiest uh, to understand is going to be logout, but I want to go through this process in a logical fashion. So we're going to start by registering the user, then logging the user in and uh, completing with the logout. So the first thing we want to do is build a register form. So in my views, I'm going to make a new folder. This folder is going to be the login folder. I'm 
I'm going to make a new file. And I'm going to save this file as index.php. This is going to be my login index. It's the login page. I'm going to base this view on the home create view in order to save some time. Okay. So this is the login page. I'll call that login. Login. And of course, we're going to need a form. Its action is going to be on the same controller. We're going to have a form group, username. Username. And we need a second form group for the password. 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 And the input type for this is going to be password. OK. A submit button, action, login. Button primary. And we don't need to have a cancel button. However, we need to have a register button. So we'll take this one outside of the form. No account. We're going to go to login, register. And let's not make this a button. register so no account register okay so that's the login view we're gonna save that let's make a new file and save it as register .php. I'm gonna take the whole login view and paste it in the register.php file. So register an account, register an account. So the wanted username, the password, and we need an extra field for the password confirmation. Or maybe just re-enter your password. Submit. This is going to be register. And now, already have an account. Login at the index. Okay, so that's the register view. The index.php is the login view. And we don't need any other view. This is sufficient. Let's write the login controller now. So to login, there's going to be an if is set dollar underscore post. action. This is what I use to have the branching else this view and the view we want to have here is login slash index. Okay, so this is going to be the pattern for the register as well. So before I make any change, I'm going to paste it here and change the view to the register view. So if I submit the form, then post action is set. And now I want to perform an action. 